The top Republican on the House Judiciary Committee, Congressman Doug Collins. Sir, good to see you tonight. Thank you very much for being here. Um, I guess Thanks, first, I, I want to ask you about what happened today in your committee before we get back to that story with the panel. Okay. But I do want to get your reaction to the fact that, you know, others in the media are starting to dig into the possibility that perhaps there were plants by U.S. intelligence to start to attach themselves to the Trump campaign to see what they could find out. I think we're finally seeing the media come to around to what many of us have been saying all along. How did we get here? That's the pertinent storyline here. How did we get here? And I think now that the Mueller report is out, there's no longer the bated breath anticipation that the president uh, did something wrong and it was colluding or there was a, an obstruction. And now they're having to move on. And now they're actually going back and saying, well, that wasn't a story. Well, what is the story? Maybe those Republicans who we thought were crazy and, and everybody else was saying, oh, they're just chasing wild uh, stories are now actually being seen as true. They're actually going back and actually doing real reporting and saying what happened at a Department of Justice that went from one investigation to another in the middle of a uh, presidential campaign and why did it start? And I think Bill Barr has, has made reference to this. He's made reference to wanting to get to the beginning of it and it's actually glad to, and glad to see that some of the media who have uh, in the past have been critical of the efforts are now actually saying, hey, maybe something is up here. Yeah, um, we're, we're going to talk more about that with the panel. Um, I do want to ask you a little bit about what happened today in the House Judiciary Committee. Nancy Pelosi, outside of that committee, called Bill Barr a liar. He vehemently uh, rejected that notion. Um, the, the idea that, that is being pushed forward, that, that Bill Barr, the Attorney General of the United States, is working as a protector for the president. What do you say to that? I think it's a shame that the Speaker of the House would, would call a sitting cabinet member a liar, especially when I would really doubt how much she's actually watching, except from a very surface level going on. Because I'll absolutely tell you, the chairman of our committee is doing nothing but a circus run of making uh, Bill Barr be the now the straw man, the boogeyman, if you would, because all of their dreams fell apart when Mueller came out. When there was no collusion by anyone, there was no charged obstruction, their dreams of impeachment died. And so now they're in a panic mode to say, well, why could this be? We always thought Barr was going to be fine. We thought Mueller was the gold standard. Everything was fine. And so if Mueller is still their gold standard they're holding on to, then someone has to be the bad guy. And Bill Barr, who has answered every one of their questions that they wanted, who has cut forth everything he's supposed to have done, they were making him out to be the bad guy. And really, it's a shame that the Democrats are now trying to make him out to be the bad guy simply because their storyline was wrong. You know, it's interesting that there was pushback today from the attorneys at the White House because, you know, I, I wonder in this whole thing, I know Democrats obviously were disappointed with the, with the attorney general, um, but you wonder if they weren't actually more disappointed with, with Robert Mueller because Robert Mueller did not deliver on obstruction. And when they read the report, they clearly feel that he should have. So, so the attorneys, including Emmett Flood from the White House, wrote a letter, sent it to Bill Barr on their analysis of the legal basis of the report, the special counsel's report. And in it, they talk about the fact that there's, there are lines in this report written by the, the folks who put it together, who, you know, the president has gone after a lot on Twitter as being unfair to him, um, and saying that they did not, in the report it says, we did not exonerate the president. Here's what Emmett Flood wrote. Prosecutors simply are not in the business of establishing innocence. In the American justice system, innocence is presumed. There is never a need for prosecutors to conclusively determine it. What do you say to that? I say what is exactly right. I've been saying this for a while, and I think that was a concerning part. For Democrats who want to say that Bill Barr tried to skew the report or do whatever, and that he, there was this misunderstanding between him and Robert Mueller through a letter or anything else, he stated the facts correctly. He stated there was no collusion. He stated there was no charge of obstruction. And he even included the line that was actually in the Mueller report, which I thought was rather interesting, for a career prosecutor to say, we don't exonerate. I'm not sure he's ever come out. I'd love to go back and look at a, a lot of his past writings or any prosecutor's past writings to say, you know what? of this, we're not exonerating. We didn't charge, but we're not exonerating. Uh, M.F. Ludge is exactly right. Prosecutors are not in the business of exonerating. They're either finding enough to charge or they're not finding enough to charge and they move on. This is a concern and I think it's really interesting to me though for Democrats to play on this right now. They can't have everybody be the bad person here. They've got to at least hold out hope that they can find something in this report or something going along that they can actually take and make a political haste so they can tarnish the president. So they can't make everybody the bad guy at this point. All right. So obviously Bill Barr did not show up at your committee today. You called it a circus in there and you said that they were trying to make it look like an impeachment hearing of Bill Barr. What did you mean by that? 
Well, here's what they did, is they had the chance, and, and the chairman today, my chairman took away my right to question Bill Barr. He took away the right of every member of that committee to question Bill Barr because he had this idea of having a circus stunt called putting a staff member to ask questions. At the end, I guess to catch the attorney general maybe in some discrepancy that they thought he said, and to have it look like an impeachment hearing. For over 200 years, there's never, ever been a staff member ask questions in an oversight hearing in the House Judiciary Committee outside of impeachment. So here's what they're going out and say. They say, well, it's in impeachment we had staff hearing to make the assumption that this is a, a part of an impeachment investigation to smallify their base that dislikes the president and members who dislike the president. So they wanted it to appear like an impeachment hearing instead of just doing the oversight that our committee is supposed to be doing. And if you don't believe they thought it was a circus, a member brought chicken to the actual hearing yeah, today. They that. believe it's a circus. Big that is a joke. Kentucky that fat. is sad. Uh, Doug Collins, uh, sir, thank you very much, Congressman. Good to see you tonight. Martha, good to see you as well. Take you care. Bet.